Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner. And today I'm coming to you with a quick achievement plan. And this one is a DLC. It's a DLC for the Power Wash Simulator and it's Back to the Future Power Wash Simulator. That is right. And previously they've had they've had a couple, but only SpongeBob, <laughs> SpongeBob and Power Wash and uh, Back to the Future have had achievements. So this is the second one I'm doing for the DLC. Anyway, so this game has 10 achievements for 180 gamer score. And I give it a 1 out of 10 difficulty. Super easy. Um, completion time, 2 to 3 hours. Playthrough number 1, all achievements. That's why I love these DLCs. They just they come out, I get them. It's like a couple hours of power wash. When you do it too long, it kind of gets boring. Anyway, category number 1, story achievements. 5 achievements for 130 gamer score. And these are the 5 you're going to get for just completing all 5 of the levels. That is right. And cleaning the DeLorean. I mean, that was like, you know, a highlight of my gaming life. Yeah. Anyway, category number two, miscellaneous achievements. Five achievements for 50 gamer score. Number one, 88 miles per hour, 10 gamer score. Watch the time machine reappear. So after you clean the, Delor the DeLorean, which is the time machine that uh, Marty McFly uses in, in the, the movie, um, it's going to go into the future and it's going to disappear, right? Just wait. In about between 30 seconds and a minute, it will reappear. And as soon as it reappears, you'll get that achievement. Yeah. So just make sure you don't quit out of that after it disappears, all right, after you finish cleaning it. Number two, may it stand for all time. 10 gamer score in the clock tower job, ring the bell. So the, the clock tower job, which is a long job, you do get to clean inside too, like where the actual bell is that goes ding. Really, I don't know why I say it goes ding, but you're gonna go inside up the stairs and go to the bell and then there's a thing you could press to interact with to make it go ding. Yeah, there you go. So that's how you get that achievement. <clears throat> and then clean the whole place. Number three, back to the theater, 10 gamer score. Uh, in the Hollow Max theater job, clean the grid wall first. Um, so now at, on top of the theater, there's this huge wall and you just have to make sure you clean the one side of it, the sides, the little piece of sides of it, and then the back of it all uh, before you finish any other job. And whenever you finish a job in these games, um, it goes ding. So make sure nothing goes ding. And it'll tell you on the top how much you've cleaned and how much you haven't. So just, yeah, just do that one first. It's actually, it was actually not hard. And then for the same, same level, shark still looks fake. You have to go and you have to stand on this X. There's an X on the ground by the gas station and, and look at the theater. And then you will have a surprise from Jaws, Jaws 19. Yeah. And, uh, well, it's probably on this video, but yeah, as soon as you stand on that X and look at the theater, the hologram is going to come at you. And yeah, and you're going to get that achievement. And the last achievement, five. This is what makes time travel possible. 10 gamer score. In the, in the docks time train job, clean the flux capacitor and its particle colliders first. So in the front of the train, I was looking all over these pieces. I was like, where are they? So in the front of the train, you see this little square area. That's like the, the, the particle box or whatever, flux capacitor box. Inside of it are these three little blades. That's the flux capacitor. And then there are these little, three little, like, ovalish things. Those are the particle colliders. So you have to make sure to be very careful you don't get the box around it. Just make sure you only get the blades and those three little pieces. And clean those first. And once you do that, you've just, after you've finished all, all the uh, levels, you've just gotten all the achievements in this. Yeah. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So uh, this was really fantastic. I love these DLCs. So I, I really do feel it's worth it to buy them, to be honest. Um, so yeah, F, uh, anyway, I'll see you next time on Achievement Planner.